Hello, my fellow gamers. Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to Yakuza Like a Dragon. I need to go this. Oh, that's a lot of people. Uh, last time, we got a new job. We're going to head that way. We're now here. Why is there so many enemies? How can I do my freaking. You know what? We'll fight these guys and do my talking to them. We have a job to get. We have a battle bomb and a hammerhead. What is this? So my talk over. So, uh, are you freaking kidding me? So anyway, um, we got a job. We did stuff. I think I'm going the wrong way. Um, this is madness. And we're also now a hero because this game is a meme. We like memes though, so that's okay. So today, we are going to go to this new soap land and see how this is going to go. And I just literally ran in a circle. Alright, there's no way this is going to get weird. Today. It's about to get weird, isn't it? <coughs> oh no. <laughs> it's a flasher. Who's that suit? What? Jeez, the hell's up with this guy? Just another crazy off the streets. Okay, guys, let's do this. Roger. We're gonna. Why are we fighting him? <laughs> so we have a mini boss? Oh, he has killing power. Put it on fire. He's weak against fire, we like that. So we... This is a tag team move is very effective, so we're gonna keep doing it. I mean, we might as well. Should finish him off, right? Resist. Did he just butt attack me? Resist. What? Just this. I love the fact the music has a little bit of an 8 bit vibe to it. Uh, this will finish him off. I have no man to man now. Alright. Mysterious stone and not. That's stupid. Well, this is eventful for no reason. Man, what was his problem? I swear. Sometimes this city gets uglier and uglier every step. Right? Uh, you'll get used to it. I'd really rather not. Ah. <laughs> Looks like we've got ourselves quite the specimen. What? Huh? I knew I'd run into an unclassified sooner or later. Now let's see what Who the heck are you? Scientific name. What should that be? Hmm. Turncoat titillator should do it. <laughs> what? Hey, what are you doing? Huh? Oh, sorry. I've been tracking a rare specimen around here, and I might have gotten a little carried away. You're, what, some kind of researcher? Yes, the name's Professor Morikasa, but most people call me the Sujiman Sensei. Sujiman Sensei? Oh, no. What is that exactly? <laughs> I catch your interest? How about you swing by my lab? I can explain more there. And as thanks for helping me subdue that specimen, I'll make you some tea or snacks or whatever you like. <laughs> that sounds great. What? Hey, Ichiban, let's go. 
he seem a little sketchy to you? You won't make it in this city if you bite the hand that feeds you. Besides, I take free over sketchy every day. Now let's get a move on. <sighs> Fine. Wait, we're doing it now? Oh no. I don't like this. This place I call the Sujimon Center, it's a fully functional research lab. What? You mean your fully random office room? Anyway, you came here to learn about Sujimon, did you? Allow me to explain. Sujimon are monsters of men that make you super jittery, but super jittery men didn't have much of a ring to it. Hence, Sujimon. Uh huh. Okay, sure, it's a stretch, but all you need to know is that they're the definition of bad. Okay. Society needed a concept for men that give you the creeps and attack without warning, and that's a Sujiman. Okay. Then you're going around collecting their data. Why? I do it for the sake of world peace. World peace? Think about it. This planet teams with all manner of degenerates and criminals. Just take a look around you. Now tell me, how many bad guys are out there wandering around? And how are they classified? Can you give me an answer? Enough. Uh, not when you put it that way. Indeed. When people ask themselves, what kind of bad guys are out there? How can I identify them? They're generally left to wonder. And because they're left wondering, they go up to one of these bad guys out of sheer curiosity and often end up paying the ultimate price. That's why I'm recording who these monsters are and where they make their habitat. By doing so, I can lessen their impact on society by keeping people out of harm's way. That makes sense. Guess it takes a sketchy scientist to research sketchy people. But what made you decide to do this in the first place? Let's just say I had a rough past. The takeaway here is that I'm contributing to a peaceful world, and I take that very seriously. Good for you. So, how much data have you collected so far? The thing is, every time I run into a bad guy, they always rush over to beat me down before I can gather data. You might say that's hampered progress. Okay. Yeah, I bet that would. I'm at my limit here. If only I could find an honest, maybe even slightly reckless guy who wouldn't shy away from random enemy encounters or getting his hands dirty. Hmm. Hmm. Random encounters. Is that hmm. Workforce War Breaks? Well, hope you find your guy. Let's roll, Namba. Hey, come on! Hear me out for a minute. <laughs> what? Don't tell me you want us to collect a bunch of weirdo data. That's exactly what he wants. Obviously. You hit the nail on the head, buddy. <laughs> now, I'm not asking you to go fight everyone you see. All I need is a little battle data whenever a battle does happen. Besides, I imagine two tough guys like yourselves get into brawls fairly regularly. Yes? Hey, what about... So, I was thinking, why not gather data while you're at it? Easier said than done. Perhaps. But a comprehensive Sujimon encyclopedia is what this world needs. How about I throw in some completion rewards? Oh, now I see those ears perk up. You hear that? Let's do it, Ichiban. I guess I do like completion rewards. Fine, we'll do it. This really does help society. I guess we all reap the benefits. Exactly. Glad you understand. Let's hop to it, then. So, how do we go about recording your data, anyway? Ah, that's simple. This custom application I made does all the work. Sujimon, As for how it operates, well, I think a live demonstration might best get you up to speed. Okay. Hey, time to earn your keep. We're gonna fight you? Okay, we'll fight. Wait, who are you all? No! Who are these goons? Let's just say they're assistants who specialize in field work. Now, what's your favorite color? Red, blue, or green? Uh, not 
not sure where you're going with this. Do you this, want a but... fire type, a water type, or a grass type? We want a grass type. Let's go with green. Okay then, green it is. All right, you two give green here some. Does backup. it really matter? Now, give them a taste of what I pay you for. Huh? Don't tell me you want us to fight. Yes, in fact, I do. Mm -hmm. Every time we wallop an enemy, the Suji Dex app kicks in. It records battle data automatically. Huh, it That's sounds like a nuts. Pokedex. Oh, wait. Gentlemen, I choose you. <laughs> Get ready for a Suji Man <laughs> battle. <laughs> what? Hey, hey, hey. All right, so we have a fire attack. Is fire attack effective against grass? It works, but it doesn't do what I expected. I don't have any mana, so... He's weak against... What? Wait, what's going on? I guess it's melee, so if I just melee him again... Okay. Observing the Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna take a guess here and do it on red for the heck of it. Okay, he resisted. What? I'm not surprised. This, this, I don't. Why did you go after him? Ow. Okay, let's try the fire belt on him. What are you gonna have to be weak to fire? Neither one of you are weak to fire. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Can I get that crit on him? He's pretty tanky. What? Uh oh. Can we stop attacking him? Pigeon raid. Watch this. Have fun with this. Better. I'm up. Let's go. All right, he's gone. Yeah. Come on. Good bit of money. Good bit of a suited. Oh no. I feel the stats going up. Well, I'll get another one more. Didn't mean to click that so fast. I need more stats increases. <sighs> Impressive. Clearly, I chose the right people for the job. Keep that up, and you'll be the best. Like no one <laughs> ever was. That's <laughs> kind of you. So, where's the data? <sighs> right. Why don't you tap that app and see for yourself? Red Sujimon, blue Sujimon, green Sujimon. What? There's w element. There's element. Okay, so the fist I think is. Okay, I have no idea. Is it blunt? Blunt and sharp. I don't know. That's the idea. Defeat lots of Sujimon. Collect lots of data. And has promised. It's I not like we had clogged the ball anyway. Job. Expect to get some emails as you hit completion milestones. Hope it's not more trouble than it's worth. Well, there's something in it for us, so we might as well give it a try. We're in no position to be picky. Yeah, you're right. Don't forget, the world's counting on you. You gotta dispatch them God all. Bless it. Then you'll be the next Sujimon <laughs> Master! <laughs> I love this game. Oh, well, this may be one of the best games I've played in a while, just for single player. Like, I love Ellie Noir, don't get me wrong. But this game is a meme. For the sexy one. Okay. Well, let's enter this. Fine establishment. Hi, Mizuki-san. 
Their time is up. Okay. Go ahead and clean up the room, then count today's pay. Front desk. The faucet's stuck? Well, just use the same bath Whoa. water for the next customer. Yeah, I know it's dirty. Just use a bath bomb. They're behind the sink. Make it cloudy enough, we'll notice. Wow. Hello, this is Otohime Land. Oh, Nanaha-chan. Hmm. Oh, really? So you're taking the day off. But didn't you have your period two weeks ago? You're missing too much work. And if your excuses are true, you should get that checked out. I mean, it sounds like a serious medical issue. And if it keeps you out of work, how are you going to pay for your dear old dad's care, huh? Seems like your life would be easier if he just died nice. already. But I guess that's out of your control. Are you crying? Oh, come on. I only say these things because I'm your boss. I don't want out. I can't be your therapist, too. But come back in as soon as you feel better. Okay? Bye. <sighs> I tell you. Girls these days. So, you folks are here about the job we posted, I assume? Sorry. I don't think I want to be employed here. Ditto. Not a fan of anything I just heard. You out too, Kasuga? <sighs> so, you came all the way here just to insult me in my place of business? I'll have you know, Hello Work practically begged me to hire you three. They told me you'd be willing to do anything. I don't care what they told you. We've still got principles. Yeah, I'm grateful that Kanbei put in a good word, but uh, I pass. Plenty of other jobs out there. Let's go, Ichiban. Ichiban doesn't say no. Ichiban's gonna say no to the job? Ichiban, what's the holdup? Come on, let's go. <sighs> you heard him on the phone, didn't you? I've been to my share of back alley soap plans, but this guy's got to be the worst I've ever seen. The girls don't deserve that kind of treatment. Huh. Hey, there a problem? You better not cause any trouble here. I'll call the Yakuza. We're with the Seiryu clan, you know? The Seiryu clan? You really sure you want to start something? <laughs> this is Seiryu clan territory? <clears throat> well, this just got complicated. Hey, Kasuga, we need a scram. Well, uh, well, why Come are you on. looking at me like that? I'll call them. I will. Uh, uh. I'll take the job. I'll start anytime you want, boss. Huh? What? Wait, wait, what are you doing? Based on what I just heard, you got a lot of issues here, from plumbing to personnel. You need a hand. And I've got 16 years of direct experience in this industry. I know what works in these places. And I can even go scout some fresh talent for you. What do you say? Yeah, but what about those two? Prostitution's gotta go! Oh, no. no. They're in. Nobody likes them more than they do. Mm -hmm. What's that sound? Your friends called Boy Japan. No one can believe they're already back. The same guys the other day. They're just doing forever shopping for a few days right now. Clockwork is pain. Oh. Cutting you with these protests? Well. well, the last place in the area that opened about being a bathhouse. The others have all rebranded as men's salons or bubble massages. Makes sense for Boy Japan to build a case against them. We're still open about being a soap land. They think they can close me down. I'll start a shockwave and clean up the rest of the area. Am I lucky or what? Listen. And the Yakuza won't protect you? I tried complaining to save your clan once. And they showed up after everything had quieted down. Besides, Boy Japan's ranks are filled with these types of read up on anti Yakuza laws and the fun of it. These kinds of people are tougher than the Yakuza to deal with. That's Yakuza for you. So I can't go to the Yakuza and I can't go to the police. Who do I turn Well, to? damn. Do my employees are queen to avoid being harassed. I'm at the end of my rope over here. Right. That's why you're understaffed. But basically, you're saying as long as the girls stick around, you can still run your business. 
That said, between Voice of Pain and the way you treat them, I wouldn't count on them sticking around either. <laughs> you don't get it at all. Girls who come to work already have their backs against the wall. And girls who work here are all Japanese, but they're in the same situation as immigrants who came here to get away from whatever it may be. Those whose job may be important, importation, you can only back to rely on. Okay. I always figured it's money that brought girls back to this kind of work. Yep. Of course, a lot of people who come tempted to this side of things because it sounds lucrative. He's going to think that straight up rich without doing any real work. As soon as things take a turn for the worse, it runs to the hills. That's why I only hire women so far out of the ledge. They can afford to take another step back. When they like to work, although it depends on it, that's to keep my business stable. Hey. You're just talking about advantage of women at their lowest. You're the scum of the earth. Say what you will. But lust weighs on the soul. It's, it's as heavy as hungry. It's not like He's not wrong. Except with lust, you can't just stay so take for the local deli, you have to hold it until you find an outlet. So if women or women will be on the menu, men are going to play for it. That's not wrong! Unfortunately. Or fortunately. It's okay to be a What's sex up? worker. We drive that guy off, will you hire us or not? Yo. After everything the slime ball just said, you still want to work here? I certainly don't. This guy is nothing but I'm gonna go. We Put your panda and down. Shut up. It's work. We can't afford to turn that down. It's at a point. I'll take your job and I'll get it done right. You gonna hire us or not? Fine. That smirk kind of disappoints me. Prostitution is illegal in Japan, yet it's established that it's flaunting it in broad daylight. Hey. Hey, working hard as ever, huh? What? You guys, from the other day, why are you here? Oh, as of today, we're employees. Employees, huh? Yep. My friends, these colors of criminals that pervade the prostitution have made themselves known. Hmm? I'm sorry, criminals? If that's the case, why aren't we getting arrested? The several ones are dodging laws are rushing to the public bathhouse. My friends, this is what you call a gray zone, dark stains on Japan. Well, let's turn the gray to white. Let's bleach it out. Yo. What about you? Do you think you're some kind of pure and clean soul yourself? You never committed a single crime? True. Of course I obey the law. It's the obligation of every right to citizen. So you never even lie without a. If you, what is that said? Take away crime, you know? No. Never once. Not in my life. <sighs> Seriously? What about speeding? Everyone's out of speed because they're running late. Nope, not a single time. Hey. You're a liar. It's illegal to go even one kilo. He, kilo. He had to done that. Afraid not. You don't know for it. For me, these crowns. Yo. Okay. How about what you're doing right now? All these people blocking the road has got to be some kind of crown, doesn't it? <laughs> you're so ignorant. It's funny. I don't read that. We have permits from the, the police department for this demonstration. Huh. Yeah, permit to march on a public road. <laughs> so you get it now. The police have enough to let us use the spread for our own cause. But when you're standing now, it's technically the road. That's so plain. Oh. I just got a little over overzealous. Also, it says here that there's only supposed to be ten of you. Hey. I'm not a mathematician, but looks like more than that. We just got more support than usual today. That's the nature of a protest. Typical until the day of. If you don't like it, file police support. But I wouldn't get your hopes up about them coming out to do a head count. If this being 10 or 15 people isn't worth their time, it's certainly not causing any trouble. <laughs> You're on the right track, Kasuka. In that case, I got a warning for you. Moving a vision of March means you're not allowed to stop moving. If you stop and start giving speeches, that's obstruction of traffic. Your right to use the road is protected by your performing a march, but so the fact that you stopped here is a pretty clear violation. <laughs> Even as the with the rule, every protester stops to get speeches, and the police are fine with that. Sup? You know what you call that? A gray zone. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Relying on a gray area to criticize the gray zone, man. That's irony. My friends, let's keep going. We're marching. Wrecked. <laughs> Prostitution's gotta go. No more in it. What were you doing at your trip? I mean... Let's see, first we have Ichiban Katsuragi, 42. Oh. Address is, oh, isn't this when Hamaka runs? Yes. Yeah, we're looking on the second floor. You know Hamaka's run? A bit, from years ago. Anyway, next is Yunamba, 
Age 41. Huh? You, Nava? Give me, like, Nava's like, real. Hold on. Hold speech and give me about homeless people using fake me. <laughs> Shut up. Look at those fake. It's important. Just go. Boy. What was that? Um, what? Okay, okay. And the last guy is Adachi. Wait, 59? Yes. Yeah, I only had two months to go until I hit retirement. But the police let me go a few days ago. That's rough. What? Huh? That's all? What's all? I mean, no. we're a walking tree of red flags, aren't we? A bomb, an ex-yakuza, and a cup with a thermal discharge. What of it? If I work with stuff like that, I'll never find anyone to work for me. And besides, I'm just having to have the perfect job for you three. What? And that is, you're either trying to investigate things off. Nah, I only get that done every six months. What? It's her. What? But anyway, she's been on top earner for five years straight. It's a girl who called to take the day off, and you rule at her? Yep. That's right. Mm. She's your top earner, huh? You weren't keen with these girls being on the... I told you, if all you guys gone for is being cute and young, it would never last. The court's up with appeal with a service and love. Emotional death that makes them repeat customers. Okay. What are those? Better all the creatures come down to it. You can guys put the toughest fronts in place to who they really are. And the depth of a woman's ability to give them what is usually the first to her own baggage. Well, there's an age where he can't even move on his own anymore. But she quit her job at the big firm fell into this world to afford the best of care. Wow. She's keeping all the stuff to white collar job in a prostitution is a pretty brave leap. Yep. And that's why she's good at it. She gives it everything she has, no matter what the customers are for the sake of her father. That being said, she's recently started finding reasons to take days off. Hmm. This never used to be a case, though. Between Boy Japan and her taking days off, the hills were really slumping. Funny to hand. What? Like, on the customer, uh, listen. Nah. No, you idiot. I want you to take what she's taking things off on. They say it's because of irregular periods? I can't take the face value, knowing her. There's a lot of reasons for someone needs money to start taking lots of time off. You got a sad piece. Mm -hmm. You know the industry, don't you? Care to fill in the class? Yeah. The mission can be meeting someone without going through the store. Normally, a customer pays for the service, and that means money gets moved between the girl and the shop. To meet a product, the girl can offer a discount with focus on top cutting out the shop out. Once they start doing that, the girl starts to wonder why they need the shop in the first place. Of course, other shops have strict rules about that kind of thing. Even just into the first, once they get a taste of the extra cash, it doesn't stop. They'll even start using the shop to lure more customers out of their own business as a death note for some shop. So I want you to find out if you've seen someone with the What's up? Okay. What do we find this guy? Make sure he never wants to go near her again. I don't want the methods you use. You're a Yakuza, a nurse, and a cop. I'm sure you can come up with something. Hold on. Hey, hold up. Shouldn't you be using the claim for this kind of thing? Think of them as a car insurance. If you use them wrong, they'll increase your premium. So it's cheaper if I can solve the problems myself. <laughs> I mean, he's right. And then she's been couch sitting for a while and hasn't gone home in quite some time. Hey. How do we find her then? Keep an eye on the pocket cafe. She'll show up. She hangs out there a lot. With the price of a cup of coffee, she can stay for hours. She needs Wi Fi and charge her phone. See you later. So, I'll be hoping for the best. Get her to sit coming back regularly and some sort of payment for you. It's an interesting job. Sounds to me like he hired us to be chief detective. <laughs> He's quite, he's quite a schemer. He seems sloppy, but this boy both off the clock. He's doing it on purpose. He's good. <sighs> and then he's a scumbag. Bottom line, that's all I care about. No. I don't think so. He actually. Huh? Maybe it's not true all this time, but the step one's probably off their workers' misfortunes. You mean like they're dead? Family issues, people, are, people are like that, right? Basically, the women work hard to get the situation and shop supports them. I'm not cool with that way he talks about people, but it's not sugarcoating anything. He understands the reality of business. Mm. That's one way to put it. A group surrounded by every kind of sleaze bag they could offer throw in those doors. And I bet this guy's actually got a lot of love for his girls. I take him there with a the, the crap head who doesn't get the girl's job because in the first place. Well, just because I hate crap heads doesn't mean I like to like sleaze bags. So let's get like this person get paid. Okay. Alright, but we don't know what to actually see this guy on the side. So let's start this cafe she supposedly goes to. That's a lot of words. Guys, next time on Yakuza Like a Dragon, let's go to this cafe. I'll see you.